Stay calm. Stay calm. I'm okay with getting fired 50 times in a row. Like, who wouldn't? That doesn't mean I will throw a fit. Ha, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. <coughs> fired 50 freaking times. I am so angry this makes me want to destroy the whole living room. <laughs> Oh my god! This man has gone completely nut! I know! He should realize he left the windows open and so he's causing the living room a complete mess. I think it's best if we leave him alone before he sees us. Maybe his parents will punish him, who knows? There, now I made a very 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 big mess. I couldn't control my anger much longer. Oh well. I will just rest for the day. I now fixed the whole living room back together, but I'm still mad about what happened at my previous job I had to throw a fit yesterday. Not only that I got fired for being rude to the customers, first I was blamed by the dog who was barking at Michael's, then the picture was broken at Jed's Pizza now at Red Robin. It was that white cat's fault. She should know that it wasn't me that beat that girl up, yet my boss didn't believe me. That's what had gotten me mad. I hope I don't see that cat again, like for real this time. That goes for any other Digimon or Pokemon too. Let's get back on track. I was going to get another job yesterday but I was so angry to do so. But now, this is obviously the 50th time I've been fired. Where should I work next? I know. I'll get a job at Sam's Club. Welcome to Sam's Club. How may I help you? I would like to buy some electronic gadgets and accessories. Okay. That will be five cents. Five cents? That's weird because I'm pretty sure the gadgets I want costs $30.14. By 5 cents, I mean, you. Because you're a nickel. Seriously. I'm not selling myself just because I'm a coin. You're weird to think I'm doing that. Well that's how it works, right? If you want to get the gadgets you want, I suggest you go buy yourself by getting trapped in the cash register. Forget this. I'm out of here. Maybe Walmart would be better and not with annoying customers like you. Yeah, good luck with that. Welcome to Sam's Club. How may I help you? I would like to buy a large grill, a variety of meats for grilling, such as burgers, sausages, and steaks, as well as sides like potato salad and corn on the cob. Hey dude. I noticed that you have a green spike on your head. What is that? It's called a mohawk. Do you like it? Like it? I love it. I never tried getting a mohawk before. Perhaps you should consider going to a barber shop. They have exclusive haircuts and styles. I dyed my hair green to make that natural. Here's another idea. How about I'll cut off all of your hair and have it? Okay, I have no words for that. I like to keep my hair cut as it is, but what you said can hurt people who has good looking hairstyles. Some of them results in repercussions. Wait, where are you going with this? It's the time that I give you a haircut. But why go to a barber shop when you can do it here? Come on, come over here so I can cut all your hair off. No, you're crazy to think I'm letting you cut off all my hair. I'm getting out of here. Well dang it. 
I wanted to see what it's like having a mohawk sometimes. I was actually serious about this. Welcome to Sam's Club. How may? What the hell? Hey you, tall woman. Oh, are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you up there. Look at how freaking tall you are. Just how did you even got in the store with all that height of yours? Hey, being tall has its perks you know. I was meant to be big by the name, Mount Lady. You think being tall is a perk? Let me tell you, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Your height is nearly causing the store some destruction. Oh, I get it, because you're implying that I'm some type of mountain. Being tall is more than just a perk, it's a whole darn superpower. But I understand your concern, and I'll do my best to be more careful. If you really have a superpower, then why not use it to turn back into your normal size self? It's not like I can just snap my fingers and magically change my size on command. My quirk has limitations, just like every other hero's. Besides, I'm not ashamed of my heroic form. Well, I can't have you be seen by everybody if you're gonna stand there and be enormous. Get the hell out of this place right now. You have problems. I am going to a different Sam's Club. Welcome to. Well looky here. It's that same guy I saw at Walmart, and it won a burger when I fired you. Yeah, let's not talk about this. So, how may I help you? How may I help you? Actually, speaking of helping, how about you get some help? What do you mean by me getting some help? I don't understand. What do I mean? Like I haven't heard you screaming and destroying everything like a child that was causing the neighborhood some ruckus. Are you talking about what happened yesterday? If so, that's none of your business. Oh don't worry. I heard loud noises in there. That's probably because you got fired 50 times I'm guessing. That's totally what you get for being a rude employee. Okay, maybe what you're saying is true. But how come you can hear me when you're not even close here? I mean, I've seen the boy with wrapper clothes, a pink striped cat, and a goat with stars on its back at the window. Seriously? I heard the whole town having complaints. They're all upset because of you. You need to learn when they handle shit and act like a good person like the rest of us. Okay, so maybe I was a little overboard, but still. I do not need your advice, you stupid purple-haired kid. See? You're doing it again. I suggest you calm down, and stop acting like a baby. I would instantly prefer you to be quieter. Oh, I would instantly calm down if you don't get out of here now. Fine by me. I'll just be glad that you're not going to act like this all day if you don't get it together. Just saying. Welcome to Sam's Club. How may I help you? I would like to buy a toy airplane please. Ha 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 ha. Why are you getting a toy airplane? That's for little toddlers you know. Like, how old are you? Hey, stop laughing at me. I'm never too old to buy this. And this isn't for me, this is for my friend Ray since he likes to fly a lot. I'm sorry. It's just that you don't normally see someone your age coming in here to buy a toy plane. But hey, it's great that you're buying it for your friend Ray. But one more question, how old is your friend anyway? I would say that it's none of your business, but since you asked, he's sincerely 10 years old. In his future past times though, he's roughly 16. He's way too old to be playing with just a toy plane. It may not be the most appropriate gift for a 16 year old. Yes it is. Even if it's not, who wouldn't want an aviation flying squirrel like him to make him feel happy for his interests? I don't see the point though. Besides the fact he's a flying squirrel like you said, and wants a toy plane even though he could, well, fly. You could at least give him a normal plane instead. It's impossible for a 10 year old who doesn't know how to fly a plane to purchase one. The idea is absurd. It's like expecting a baby to drive a car. He's a flying squirrel in case you haven't followed my speech. Whatever. He should stick to getting used to himself. He will be fine without the toy. 
If not, he will be a ground squirrel instead. You are such a cruel person, you know that? Your lack of respect towards both animals and people is truly despicable. I hope I don't see you again. See you later dummy. Agent Trout. How dare you be rude to the customers? That's it. You're fired. Get out of this place right now.